Man video just have a new update and I think this is seriously the best video that you can create on your local computer with Comfy UI. And I'm not kidding about this. Well, <laughs> not pun intended. Look on this. This is text to video creating about Kitty. Look on con coherency, how the character and everything. And here is another one created from image. So I will show you different workflows. I will show where to download this workflows from official and other fan sites. And as well, I want to share with you about what model to use, where to find model and how to select a properly model for you. First, this is model. Some of the workflow will natively supported by Comfy AI. But for that, you need to update to latest version, which is 3.22. And if you have it manager install, you always can click on the manager going down right here where it says update all. And I just recommend update everything that will help with some nodes that going to use in this workflow. If you don't know how to install Comfy UI or Comfy Manager, check my other videos where I've gone step by step and explain how everything is working here. Okay. After you update your Comfy UI, you need to restart your server. Now, our next step, we are actually ready to start working with for workflow. The first place what I recommend for you with workflow, if you look at Comfy UI examples, you're going down. And in this web page, links down below, you'll find some examples. You find also this video example, which is very easy. You just can drag and drop this video example on your place. And as well, they have it all additional workflows. But before you actually start work with those workflows, we also require have it some models downloaded. And it is a huge models and it's many of them. Okay. For example, right here, you can see they have it where you can download it all safe centers. And if we're going in this place, you'll notice it's many of them. This is just a UNet, for example, models and look how many of them and all different sizes from 33 gigabyte in other ones. And also you have it another ones where it's just the models as well. Well, to determine which one is used, they actually says refer to this table. And if you go to this table, you can get lost, but I will help you what to look for. First, what we need to look, look on this area where it says model size, and this is approximately how many uh, gigabyte. But keep in mind, this is just a unit example reference. And problem with this, you're not just using one model, you will use a safe sensor, you're using unit and other ones, and its memory will combine. So if for some reason you have a 24 gigabyte, you can try going with a full F16, float point 16, but you may run in some problems if you start loading multiple models. So just keep this in mind. General, if you look right here and you can figure out which one to use. And just general rule, if F16, this is a, uh, a reference to full float 16 precision point. It's going to go um, BF16, which is also refer as a full and Next, you will have it, of course, Q8, Q6. It's a referred to smaller one, uh, Q5, KM, Q5, KS, Q5, Q4. So it's kind of will diminish uh, down. Uh, mostly if you run with models like um, Q3, uh, it will go about 8 gigabyte RAM. So if you have it uh, VRAM, so if you have a video card with 8 gigabyte, you probably be safe to run Q3 models on this. Um, the smaller model definitely they have it not as good resolutions as a bigger model, but at least you can work on this. And don't take me wrong, they run very good. Here, example one, this Fox, and it's render I drag and drop this workflow in its process and this is run on smallest model if you look right here so it's a still be incredible it when I start using I never stop I'm amazed on the quality that's come up and this is one of the best video period I saw that can create it on your own computer with AI Okay, so if you ask question, BF16, best probably run on 33 gigabyte, which is the newest 1590 if you 
have it that much money and you would like to get it RTX 5090, which is have it 32 gigabyte, you maybe can be running on this model. And then we're going down. Q8 will probably about 16 uh, gigabyte RAM. Q6 14. Q5 it's 12. Q4 10 11. And Q3 is 8. Now our next step when we start working. We need download models and of course for majority what we see right here this is from official uh, test and by the way he's not fighting i just tried to make kitty eat hamburger but obviously he's not big fan of fast food i think and that's why he freak out of this so <laughs> anyway but that was very very funny to make with him this way and this model if you actually follow the instruction right here and they have it which one you can download it Personally, I almost downloaded all of them because I want to play around and see how they perform. But if for some reason you don't have it in majority, if you're going with the second workflow here, which is actually work from image, for example, first, this one was text to video. Yes. So I type the text and it's create a video perform very fast. I was real surprised how fast this was working. And this one other workflow it's actually work from image to um, video. I'll put link down below for you to download those both workflows. And uh, well, a little bit modified, but anyway, right here, you'll notice we have it UUNet. Remember, I show you the link with UUNet. I think it's right here. You can, and I'll put it down below for you as well to download it. And you can go download a specific model. If you don't know which one model downloaded, just check right here where it says what is name needed. Another tip, if you just click Q on this and it's come up with error and says we cannot find those and those, those models, just check what models and also look on a console. For example, like right here, we have it our console. Okay, let's go our console. And if we look on a console on errors, you can see right here, for example, we have a value not in a list. And this is a way how easy to find. You'll just look for this name, copy this name. If you just put it in a Google, it will find for you. And if you don't know where to locate, where to put it this on your computer, just check next where it says not in. And this is area where's your other ones located so you can search for these names or look in your installations like in this case if i go and can browse and for example i go to diffuser diffuser models i can see right here and it says okay if my cosmos is there it's kind of help me to look on those names in this case if i have a unit right there i click on a unit and i can see right here some of those unit and for example let's go directly if I need look UMT or van, for example, okay, UMT, which one? Yeah, let's go right here. And you can see it's a EVA 02. So I can go around here and a park and find where is this located. So I can put it in same drive. This is general how I find if it's no documentation. Otherwise, also you can go in some nodes. They may provide for you if you right click properties. And you can check also this way where it's located. But I found that not every node may have this information. This is just in case if you don't have this information in locations, like for example, right there, you can see where it's located. Um, then you can look just on the logs and go find this way. So it's multiple way you can find where to put it, these files. Okay. So let's say you press Q, you have those problems, you're gone and you resolve. And I will provide link for all of these files so you can go easy and download it and use them. As well, I will provide for additional workflows um, beside those two I'm showing. You can go inside and just download it, additional workflows and play with them. So my next step, what I want to now experiment after this, I definitely want to work more with a prompt, with images. Um, with a batching images, for example, right here, you can see only one, but I can also set up as a badge and run multiple prompts, multiple generations of this. So it's not just one, it can create like, for example, batch size two, three of them. So far I run, uh, for about, uh, what is it? Three seconds here. Let's say one and two and three. And about three and a half seconds, four seconds is does good. 
um, when I try run longer, it start kind of degrading. So I think if we separate by badges, it's work very well. And as well, uh, additional things what we can do, it's not just separate only by badges, we can also add a prompt advancing. So in this case, when each new batch generated, it will apply additional to our prompt so we can pre-build our animations. Overall, this incredibly easy to install it and it is one of the best animations that can run and it's not that picky about size of memory you saw, you can run on 8 gigabyte. So, check those links, have fun, let me know what you think and we'll see you next time. Bye.